you are welcome to the journal club presentation this is namanita krishna post graduation student department of pharmaceuticals karpangala jap pharmacy kamta today in this slide we are going to see about 3d printing a case of zip dose technology world's first 3d printing platform to obtain a fda approval for a pharmaceutical product in this slide i mentioned then citation of the article regarding to this journal club so the author of the article is in thomas and it is published in the date of in 14th december 2018 so this is the content you are going to see in this slides first one is an introduction and sibdos technologies and existing fast med technology and how the 3d printing is manufacturing and finally you are going to see about an spirectum it is an approved first 3d printed drug which is approved by the fda so in this uh, slide let's know about the introductions on 3d printing spirectrum and zipdos you are all well know that in engineer field 3d printing is very famous and it is very trendy through in 3d printing you can able to produce in a small boat within 24 hours you can able to prepare in house Yeah, within 24 hours we can able to build in a small house by using 3D printing, and we can prepare anything by using in 3D printing is now possible in engineer sector. So come into then application of a 3D printing in pharmaceuticals. Is it possible for in 3D printing is used in in pharmaceuticals? So I'm say that can able to use in 3D printing in pharmaceuticals, and it is proved by that. Aprisha Pharmaceuticals Company. In the year 2015, uh, the first 3D printed drug get approved by the FDA, and it named as an Spirectrum. This Spirectrum is contains the active ingredient of in Levetiracetam. It is used for the treatment of the epilepsy. Now we days. a uh, lot of companies and academics are involving in the research work uh, in the field of in 3d printing drug development so apart from that this 3d printing is very useful and easy to manufacture than uh, drug in customizable form so this is a small introductions and about the uh, 3d printing spirectrum and zip dos so we already know that yeah, it is a very difficult to swallow in a tablet and capsules in the pediatric and geriatric patients one of an online survey was in conducted in the new year say in that 50 percentage of an american adults reported that it is difficult to swallow in tablet and capsules it is due to yeah, physical characteristics such as in size and shapes may affect the patient compliances to overcome these compliances convention fast methodology techniques were used such as in lyophilizations thin films soft compression methods these are the methods to overcome these uh, factors but in the conversion fast method there is a disadvantages it uh, in this method you can load only 275 mg of an drug in the methodology up to maximum limit is in 500 mg so more than 500 mg cannot able to load so to overcome this factor the aprisha pharmaceutics set a goal to uh to prepare in convenient and easy to swallow dosage form with higher the drug delivery so they achieve this manufacturing by using an three dimensional printing especially with an zip dose technologies in this slide let's see about the zip dose technologies the term the zip dose technology is a registered trademark it is taken by the aprisius it is the brand name of an aprisia for the technology especially the three dimensional printing manufacturing of a drug so in this zip dose technology can prepare then advanced fast melting dosage forms with higher dose levels so this zip dose technology does not refers any manufacturing or in any machinery cells in this zip dose technology it is a platform for the formulations for a various broad range of components either it is in a small or large molecule both this molecule can be prepared in the zip dose technology i am already to told that you know, zip dose technology is in three dimensional printing sir. 
So in this three-dimensional printing, basically in the 3D printing, they will take an API and explain in the form of a powder. So this powder will be sprayed on the conveyor table to form in very thin layer. After forming in very thin layer, it will be repeated this procedure until to form in successive layers uh, up to the desired pattern obtained. When the desired pattern is an obtained, the 3D printing procedure is an stopped and then product will be in taken out. So especially in the Zipdos technology, there is a novel feature is an it can it can load in up to 1300 milligram of an API. So this is then one of the uh, major advantages in the Zipdos. In the Zipdos technology, more than 150 compounds are in very compatible with this uh, for Zipdos technologies. In these Zipdos technologies, the shape and the sizes of the tablet will be in uh, customized according to the user. Through this, we can achieve the and personalized drug medicines. In the Zipdos technology, uh, more than one active ingredient will be added. Uh, as well as external release technology also bring out through these Zipdos technologies. So, I am already told that this, uh, these are the following are then advantages of the zip dose first one is in higher dose loads second one is in fast dissolving third one is in test masking so especially if you see the fast dissolving the mechanism behind the fast dissolving is nothing but when this molecule this 3d printed molecule get in contact with the water there will be a porous in the tablet through this uh, porous the water get penetrated into the tablet and bond between the each molecule will be breakdown through breakdowning, this uh, tablet get dispersed very easily and it is goes a very fine powder. So in further slides, I will be showing a video about the rapid disintegration. Let's see. In this slide, I mentioned then comparison between the zip dose and other fast melting methodology such as in freeze dried and loosely compressed method. Let's see then dispersion speed. When it comes into the dispersion speed, the freeze dried methodology takes only in 3 seconds. When it is compressed to the zip dose and loose compressed method, it is in very less time. So, next parameter is then uh, feelings, of in, feelings in the mouth. When the drug is taken in the mouth, uh, it shows in gritty in the loosely compressed method. Uh, met, uh, the drugs which is prepared in the loosely compressed method. And other two, zip dose and the freeze dried shows in very smooth effect or smooth feeling in the mouth. So, the total amount of the dose size in the zip dose is 1000. It is very higher than the other two. So, taste mask in all the uh, zip dose freeze dried and loosely compressed, the taste mask can be able to uh, done. So, this is a comparison between the uh, zip dose and in freeze dried. In that comparison, the more advantages is then you can load uh, high doses up to 1000 mg in zip dose. So this is one of the added advantages in the Zipdos technology. In this slide, I'm going to show in video on about in rapid disintegration. Let's see. So you can able to see that in uh, the tablet, uh, when these uh, 3D printed tablets are get contacted with the water, it dispersed in a very fine particles. It is due to that 3D printing and in binding material between the molecules. Uh, when the water is an enter into the tablet, it will be break the bond between the molecules and get dispersed. So this is a mechanism behind the uh, rapid disintegrations. Through this, we can overcome the swallowing difficulties in the adults as well as the geriatric and the periodic patients. On previous slides also, I am explaining about the fast melt technologies. They are nothing but in lyophilization and soft compression method. So in that lyophilization and soft compression method have in some disadvantages such as in uh, it is not applicable for in high doses as well as uh, uh, it is uh, very difficult to swallow in tablet and capsules and uh, in the in current drug research there is no ott product within top strengthers up to minimum level is in 275 milligram maximum level is in 275 milligram is allowed in the uh, us fda so to overcome that uh, methodology the Aprecia pharmaceutical uses the power liquid three dimensional printing. Using this printing methodology, we can overcome the high dose levels. In
In this slide, I mentioned the comparisons between the lifelization, soft compression, and zip dose. Let's see. So, lifelization is otherwise known as a freeze drying method, and a dosage form is an oral disintegration tablet. The highest strength of the lifelization is less than 200 mg drug one, only loaded in the lifelization. So, description about the lifelization is once the drug is in, trapped in the water soluble matrix, which is then freeze dried. When this uh, when this formulation you get contact with the water, it easily disposed in the mouth. So it takes in only 30 seconds to dispose. So what is an advantageous means in the lifelization? Uh, the highly porous pro product it rapidly dissolved in the mouth. So this is one of the advantages in the lifelization. The disadvantages of the lifelization is that should be maintained in particle size. It should be less than 50 microns. And next, let's see then soft compressions. It is known as an, uh, it is also an oral disintegration tablet and its a highest strength is 275 milligram. Uh, description about the soft compression is the, in this soft compression, there is a special excipients will be used to uh, formulate the drug. Uh, in these uh, soft compressions, the direct compression is an applicable by using the special excipients. And advantages is an it is a simplest and it is an cost effective. And disadvantages is uh, it have a lower disintegration time. Uh, I think it is an uh, it takes in 15 to 60 seconds to disintegrate in the mouth due to the uh, loss of porosity. This is an advantage disadvantages in the soft compression method technologies. <laughs> and next in zip toes, it is an Tablet for oral suspension. It is newly termed as a TOS. The abbreviation is given is in below. And it highest strength is in 1000 mg. These drugs are in manufactured by in 3D printing with appropriate taste masking. And advantages is in it is capable to load in high dose and to taste masking as well as a rapid disintegration. This is the advantages. So disadvantages is when you when you administration this uh, drug into the patient. Uh, it is taken along with then 30 ml of then water. Then only the rapid disintegration will be taken in the mouth and easy to swallow. So this is a, this is a comparison between the life relaxation and soft compression. I think uh, through this you can be able to understand then the zip dose technology. So in this slide I am going to explain about then a simple 3D printing of in pharmaceutical formulations. First, you want to take in raw materials and it is segregated into powder blending and fluid. It is segregated into two forms. This powder blending is contains an API and other experience and the fluid is contains in binding agent and aqua solutions. This stage is called as a process intermediate. After this stages, in third stage is called as a formation of in bulk unit doses. In this stage, there is a conveyor belt is present. In this conveyor belt, uh, it moves from left to right. When it is on moving, the powder blending is in a sprayed on the conveyor table. After spraying, it forms a very thin layer and it is moved towards the next stage. In these stages, the fluid preparation is in spread. At this stage only, a 3D printing is in take places. After spraying that, the drying, it moves towards the drying. At these stages, the excess amount of the fluids will be get uh, evaporated. After evaporation, de-dusting is carried out. The de-dusting is carried out for what purpose means? Uh, when the powders are in excess amount of the free particles will present in the conveyor table, it will be uh, removed from the conveyor table. And it is then again it will be moved to first stage that is in powder convenience stages. It will be the process will be repeated again and again until then successive layer of then uh, successive layer of the dosage form is obtained. So once then successive designed pattern is obtained, it will be harvested. The harvesting is nothing but the collection or collecting then uh, complete do the finished dosage form. This uh, finished dosage form is then moved to final stage is then packing stage. In this stage, uh, the product will be packed in the blisters. So this is then simple steps involved in the three dimensional printing. In this slide, I'm showing you two photographs. First one is a dosage form is after printing and drying and second one is an after harvesting. So while on uh, 
while 3D printing is and take places after printing and drying, uh, the process should be look like this only. The powders and fluid preparations are present in the conveyor table. You can able to see that this is the uh, layer which is present in the conveyor. After drying and uh, after drying, the harvesting is take places. So after harvesting, the finished product will be obtained like this only. So it look like a conventional tablet, but it is an printed by using a three dimensional printing. So this is the final product resembled like this only. So in this slide, I am going to show about in uh, video claims on about the pharmaceutical manufacturing using in 3D printing. Let's see. Let's take a look at the 3D printing process. First, a powdered medicine is spread into a thin layer. Then, a liquid is dropped onto the powder to selectively bind the particles together into a thin porous layer. This process is repeated a specific number of times to add more layers based on the dosage, building the product from bottom to top. The result is a porous drug product that disintegrates with just a sip of liquid. Learn more at Apprecia.com. So this is then a formation of in and a 3D printing. Through this video, I hope that you will be understand that how the 3D printing is should be taken places take places. In this slide, let's see then development of then Pyratum. Pyratum is the first FDA approval 3D printed drug. So this Pyratum development of the Pyratum involved then various stages such as in product concept and need aspect and formation aspect and regulatory aspect. So let's see that one by one in the development of the Spiratum. Uh, Spiratum is nothing but it is a 3D printer drug. It contains a levetiracetam and which is prescribed for the epilepsy. So let's see then what is the primary goal for development of the, this 3D printed Spiratum. So first and foremost reason is to enable the fast disintegration in the mouth within a second. So this is the most important aspect and concept for the development of the spiratum. So why they choosing the levetiracetam means, so it is available in the various dosage form and the highest dosage form is available in the market, such as in 250 milligram, 500 milligram, 750 milligram and 1000 milligram. So levetiracetam is an, uh, first approved in the US in 1999 under the brand name of Kepra. So this drug is the most and widely used in the treatment of the epilepsy. Levitaracetam not only available in the solid dosage form, it is also available in the liquid dosage forms. So to overcome these uh, limitations, there is a, some limitations in the liquid dosage form, such as an, it requires a bottle, it requires to measure before dosing and other limitations are present. To overcome these, Aprecia Pharmaceutics take a novel formulation such as an 3D printing. Through a 3D printing, you can overcome then high dose level as well as you can design your own size and shape. Different size and shape shapes are available and rapid disintegration can be uh, incorporated in the 3D printing. So these are then some advantages to develop the spiratum. So this is a reason to uh, develop in spiratum according to the author. Let's see the regulatory aspect for the development of the spiratum. We already know that for getting a generic product formulation development, we should uh, we should submit an AND application to the FDA. The in the case of inspired term, it is also it's a generic drug development, but this formulation is a totally different because the spiral term is manufactured by using a 3D printing with the zip dose technology. So it is a totally different when compared with a conventional dosage form. So for that reason, the FDA is says to then appreciate pharmaceutics to apply then NDA to get in approval for the spiratum. In the year of in 2008, the peoples of in Aprisha and an FDA get in interacted for the development of the 3D printing as well as in zip dose technologies. So the FDA peoples give you a necessary advice and guidelines to for, uh, to develop then 3d printing formulations so in the year 2014 the appreciate is successfully submit their nda for an spiratum formulations 
in this slide let's see then formulation aspect for then development of the spiratrum so in the development of the spiratrum the drug is levetiracetam acetam is was chosen along with an inactive excipients the excipients are in colloidal silicon dioxide glycerin mannitol and microcrystalline sucralose and other natural artificial and spearmint flavors were chosen so all these compounds are get approved by the usb and nf national formula grade so these compounds were be approval and these components will be used for the development of the an spiratrum in starting stage of the development of the spiratrum there is an eight registration batches of the final formulation were manufactured by the 3d printing and it is an evaluated so the evaluation tests are in test for appearance identity assay organic impurity dissolution uniformity disintegration and residual solvents so these all the evolution tests were carried out in then uh, spirit in then in then spiratrum 3d printed drug so now let's see then container closure designs for then spiratrum uh, it is an packed in then blister package it contains in six tablets per package with child resistant unit dose blister cards and this uh, blister package is crush resistant as well as it is uh, um, covered with an aluminum foil and let's see then administration of the spirectum in humans when we take this uh, spirectum you should take along with then 30 ml of water for what purpose means to disperse this um, spirectum in mouth so for dispersion and, uh, or otherwise known as an rapid disintegrations for this purpose you should take along with an 30 ml of net water in the mouth so after collecting this all the data the uh, the apricia pharmaceutical is filed an nda spiratrum and uh, this drug was and finally approved in the year 2015 31 july so this is the regulatory aspect of the spiratrum how they getting them approval for the 3d printer drug in this slide i am showing that in uh, the four different strength of the spiratrum one is a 250 mg and second one is in 500 and third one is in 750 mg and finally 1000 mg so this is then four different strength of the spiratrum which is developed by then 3d printing so in this video i am going to show you some video clips about that how spiratrum is to be manufactured and how it be Uh, get rapidly disintegrated in water let's see in this video introducing zip dose technology the first and only drug formulation platform to utilize 3d printing this proprietary technology allows disintegration in seconds with just a sip of liquid taking the oral medication experience to a whole new dimension let's see how 3d printing takes shape Medications are formed by a layering process. First, a powdered pharmaceutical blend is deposited on a single layer. Then, a binding fluid is precisely deposited to bind the powder blend and prepare it to adhere to the next layer. This process is repeated several times. The result is a solid yet highly porous oral dispersible medication. Zip dose technology enables high dose loading of up to 1000 mg, a wide range of taste masking capabilities, and rapid disintegration in seconds with a sip of liquid. Let's take a closer look. When liquid is added or sipped, the bonds break apart, allowing thorough disintegration for ease of swallowing. so so from this video you may come to understand that how the spiratrum uh, 3d printing is developed and what is the mechanism behind the rapid disintegration so this is the uh, development of the uh, spiratrum through these films you may come to understand that i hope so finally let's see the conclusions so this spiratrum is an the first approved 3d printed drug by the fda so in future by using in 3d printing methodology we can develop uh, more number of in control release drug uh, external release drug and 
other formulations such as in bilayer, multilayer drugs can be also prepared by using this 3D printing. And this pyrotrum is set in a stage for the initial uh, stage for the for in 3D printing. In future, we can expect more number of in 3D printer drug in the market. So many academics and small companies may be going to invest in the 3D printing. And they may develop the 3D printer drug um, as well as through a 3D printing drug, a personalized medicine can also achieve. So this is one of the added advantages as well as we can design in different size and shape and different colors can be used in the dosage forms. So there is a lot of advantages in the 3D printing. I hope that in future we can ex expect that more 3D printing uh, drug should be available in the market. Thanks for your patient listening and if any queries or any other valuable suggestion regarding to this presentation, please mention in the comment section. So once again, thanks for your listening.